in this section we are going to understand what is a get request and what is a post request and what's the difference and how to handle these two now let me start with showing a practical example and then i'll explain how it is okay now uh, this is a very common site that you will be using a lot okay so this is scrapy official documentation so what is the first thing that you do here you will probably search the documentation so let's press F12, okay, and I'll have to make this smaller so that we can see the network traffic. Make sure that preserve log and disable cache is checked all the times. So now let's search for something. So let's search for item loaders. I'm just taking one example and press enter. Now let's see what is happening here. Whatever data I'm searching, it is going to the server. Now, how it is going, there are two different possibilities. So, let's look at the request that is being sent here. Okay, let's start with the headers. So, if you look at the general, the first thing that you will notice is that it is a GET request. So, what do we learn from only this point that GET request can also be used to send data to the server. And what is the data that we are sending here? The search term that we just sent, right? We searched for we searched for item loader so we are sending that word item loader to the server and we are doing this using the get method okay now what are the other things that you see here in the request url the url itself you can see here that q equals item plus loader now the space has been replaced with plus but otherwise this query that we sent is right here in the URL. So keep this in mind. Let's forget about headers. We are not going to focus on headers. And let's look at the payload. So here in the payload, what do you see? Query string parameter. So the same information that you see here. Q equals item loader. This is one query string. The ampersand. And after that, this is the second query string. Check keyword, yes. Okay. And after ampersand, this is the third query string. So everything is in the URL. So that's why it is called query string. Okay. And that's why in the payload, we can see that this is Q check the same information, which has been taken from the URL and it has been presented in a developer friendly way by the developer tools. Right. And of course, there will be response. So I'm not going into that. And whatever is the status code, the only thing which we need to focus here is that we are sending data and we are sending this data as part of the URL. So this is your get request. Okay. For the get request, the best analogy that I have is a postcard. Postcard has very limited space, right? So if you want to send small data, this is where you use postcard. Okay. The two address is right there and all the data that you are sending is right there. Okay. So this data is in the request URL. So anyone can read it by anyone. We are talking about a normal user. So we are not talking about a developer, but just a normal user who's looking at the browser. So right in the request URL, all the data that is being sent is available. But still, this is OK for small data and data which is not sensitive. So not for username, password kind of data. So this is fine. It's a common practice that is being used. So next time, if I want to search for something else, I don't have to go to that form and submit. I can simply change from item loaders to let's say items. So let's say I can search for input plus processors. Okay. Input processor. So I just press enter and this will get me directly the search result for input processors. Right. So there are 11 items and you can see that input processor is highlighted. So now you know how to send a GET request. Very simple. Just send a regular request and just send and just change the URL. Okay. This is about GET request. Now let's talk about the POST request. So let me show you the PPT first. The best analogy that I have is it's like an envelope. Okay. So everything, all the data is inside that sealed envelope. Now what is on the envelope? The only thing that it contains is the address. The actual data that is sealed. Of course, if somebody wants to really read that data, 
they let to open it but a normal user it's not there in the url right and this can be used for a large amount of data and it can be used for sensitive data so if there is username password these kind of data you will always see that http post request is used so let me show you a quick demo so here is the login page so i've already pressed f12 and if i just put admin and let's say secret now look at the network traffic if i click on this this is the request that is being sent now look at the headers number 1 first of all the only thing that you need to notice is the request url so in the request url that data that i entered is not here right because it is inside that envelope the request method is post now don't worry about the status code for now we are only looking at the difference between get and post so in the post the data is not here so if we come to payload now you can see that earlier we had query string data now we have form data right so let me go back here and show it to you so in this case when the method was get all the data was in query string so query string is nothing but whatever is in the url okay now in case of post the data is inside form data and of course you can see so whenever there is some data to be sent this is the most common way the next question is is there only get and post so no if you look at the documentation so this is just the developer documentation so there is get head post put delete connect option trace patch so there are all these requests so how all these a different request work we don't have to worry about that these are only for developers if you're working with web scraping projects if you know about get and post these two things you have already covered 99.99% scenarios so only in 0.01% maybe you will have to deal with options but don't worry about that if you know how to handle get and post then you can handle options as well so uh, this was all the theory that i wanted to talk about get and post in the next video we'll start working on these request with scrapy so i'll see you in the next video